Good morning, everybody. As always, coming from the desert. Beautiful out here. Got the wind blowing. Kind of Hopefully, this is steady up. Try to see if this will work. Hi, how are you doing? That's a good one. I love you. In my adventure over the last year, Come across a lot of people that were homeless and in need some doing better than others some not mentally ill but stressed having post-traumatic stress disorder when you're not used to sleeping in your vehicle not having security food you know and worse when you're just walking down the street pushing a car drove through spokane saw a guy just laying there on the street sleeping Always having thoughts of the poor and why the poor have to pay anything. I mean, people go, Well, you know, you work hard, you pay, and there's inflation, which don't even get started on the economy, but economics in, in general. But you earn what you earn, you should pay out. But there's no equality to the earning per payout. Like, if I go to the grocery store, I'm paying the same amount for a gallon of milk as somebody who's filthy rich I'm poor how does that make any sense I think there should be like not if you want to call it a system caste system use it as a monetary caste system if you don't have any money you shouldn't have to pay as much maybe even there should be free it's like in some countries Buddhist monks are given things daily to help them survive because they beg for a living and their begging is the blessing on the person that helps them. So it's why don't people that have businesses, like if you have a laundromat, and you know people have no money for, for to wash their clothes and they're poor, you should allow poor people to come in. To, all you gotta do is say, look, this is my situation, and have them donate money to the machines, and then basically they can write that off as a tax return. I mean, this can go in so many ways, like aquatic centers, a few local gyms, yeah, I know there's Y's, and I mean, there's a lot of places that don't provide enough facilities for people to bathe, to use the restrooms, to have fresh clothes, to do laundry. <sighs> I ramble. But it's important because it's only going to get worse. I don't know about this whole blockade out in this, you know, in the port of Los Angeles. It's This has never happened before. So I don't understand how that's even happened in the first place. You know, nobody's asking why, how it started. You know, what's the jam? What's the problem? It, it was never a problem before. So work it out, people. I'm just trying to figure this out because it's going to get worse. It's going to affect the economy. It's going to affect people. The people that have lost their moratoriums on their houses, they're all experienced homelessness for the first time. A lot of them. And it, like I said, it's not being reported by the whatever you call them, the corporate news, the the globalists. But yeah, let's go, Brandon. Right? That's an interesting little snippet. A gay man who just happens to be conservative, happens to embrace certain values that are just most people. I have to say, when it comes to I hate talking politics so much, but most people are right down the middle. They just want to be happy, safe, and want to make some money and be able to have fun. That's it. They don't want to go out and hurt nobody. They're not trying to burn down villages or towns or, you know, they don't want to hate. They don't want to hate for the color of your skin. It's, it's being taught. It's being pushed by people and it's horrible, but there's dark and light. The dark is trying to fight, but the light is going to win. Always. It's just the balance. The dark wants to rule, but it can't. There's always got to be a balance. Understand? There always has to be a balance. So whatever bad has happened in your life, it will be good. You have to think positive. And that's why I keep telling, love yourself. You're amazing. You're a miracle. You are a miracle. You are. I want you to think positive and be proactive. If you see somebody hurting on the street, you know, just talk to them. Just say hi. Say, I'm sorry for your situation, you know. And a lot of times they're, you know, if they're addicted, say, look, there's a program you can help them with. I don't know. Just try to do something. You don't have to walk by and act like they don't exist because there's only going to be more of them. 
when you see children on the street and when you have these people you hear about people going on vacation to these other countries and there's like poor on the streets begging yeah why are you in that country propping up the you know the economy when they're not taking care of their you know their people it's like i'd be going up to the you know knocking on that presidential palace and then why what are all these poor kids doing there you know it's like ugh. Talk about heartbreak, right? No child should go without, no child should go without. Ugh, don't even get me started. Anyway, I love you, God loves you, and the universe loves you. And this is my little rant. I just, I care. It's not a messiah complex for people. I, it's just uh, highly empathetic. It's somebody who feels for everybody. You want even the little bugs. That's the cool thing about it. The more enlightened, the more the more understanding, the more higher vibration, and you know, even ants. I'm like walking around trying not to step on ants because I don't want to hurt anything. I want everything to exist in harmony. And it doesn't always happen that way, I know, but we can hope, right? Anyway, I love you. I already said that. I'm so damn tired. Anyway, you have a wonderful day. I'm with you. And there's some desert.